wood gasification, what's that? Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is we're going to revisit my wood gasifier. And uh, several years ago, I built one like this. This is what they call a FEMA gasifier. Uh, it's not the best one to build to really get a good production of gas. Uh, I soon learned that because it puts out a lot of uh, tar and all that. But I did generate a lot of gas, and so what I did, I just kind of tabled this project till I got time and learned a lot more about it. But anyway, that's what I've been working on here recently. So let me take you out here and let's go check it out. Well, this chamber is where you burn your wood chips, and uh, the fire tube is in the center. And what it does, you actually, in a controlled combustion environment, you, you burn your wood chips and it creates a gas once it gets up to 2,000 degrees. That gas will come out of this tube here. And once the gas comes out of the uh, combustion chamber, it will go in, I'm going to call this just the first stage of filter and a lot of the soot, tar, and all of that will drop to the bottom of this cylinder and then the gas will rise and come up here and then go through this radiator type setup, allowing the gas to cool and the water to drop. As it exits the radiator or cooling core, it's going to come across here and then any moisture that has collected, I'm hoping that it will uh, empty itself into this bottle and then after that it's going to go into my first stage filter. This is the lower half of uh, my gasification filters and I have about a total of five foot. What I have here is the joint and I'm going to uh, put a screen in because my media is going to go on top and uh, I don't want it falling down in here. This is, this is going to be uh, catching water and uh, ash and things like that. Once it comes out of the radiator and it comes in past my first little catch bottle, it's going to come up this tube and go into the top of this pipe, which is going to be filled uh, with uh, pea stone. And that's going to be my filter media. And then it will drop down. And any liquids that is uh, collected here will drop into the bottom of that. I have a crossover into this filter tube. And it'll come up. And I also have filter media in here and it will come down into my last stage of filter which is this old ammo box. I'm going to put a little shelf in here and going to have expanded metal on top of it and then I'm going to be able to put about a 8 inch layer of straw or hay in here for my final filter of the gas is going to come out here and this is the motor that actually draws it through to kind of get the uh, gas generation going and once it's been operating for about 10-15 minutes something like that then the gas should be in good shape then I can cut my blower valve off and then the valve on this side is going to be uh, connected to a small engine. I'm going to have a little generator that uh, it's connected to. And when I have it connected to that generator, I'll just open the ball valve and let it draw the uh, wood gas through the system. 
and uh, it'll keep the engine running. So anyway guys, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today and checking out the wood gasifier. Uh, y'all have a great week. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here.